Welcome to the lecture on one sample is a test or t test for proportions. In the previous lecture, we discussed about the basis of testing for proportions because generally we are testing for means, but here we are talking about proportions. We will start with an example. Assume that generally in a population, proportion of 0.64 or 64% of the people are having some kind of NCD or non-communicable disease in elderly population. This is like a fixed value. About 64% of them have some kind of disease, either diabetes, hypertension or some, some other disease. Now, assume that there is a specific population where proportion is 0.5 that means 50% of them are having disease that means 50% are healthy here it's only 36% are healthy now we are in doubt whether this 50% is significantly less than 0.64 or 0.5 is significantly less than 0.64 now this is one sample case because we have we are testing one population proportion against a fixed value assuming that this is a fixed value general acceptance okay let's see that one. now what is our null hypothesis our null hypothesis is there's no significant difference between 0.64 and 0.5 so, what is our alternative hypothesis? Now, can you think that whether this is one tail case or two tail case? This is one tail case. Why? We are interested in whether 0.5 is significantly less than 0 0.64. 0 0.5 is significantly less than 0 0.64. So, what about null distribution? If you think about null distribution, we know that at the center, the population fixed value is there, the proportion is 0.64. Now, we are interested in whether our 0.5 is in null region or rejection region. So, we are interested in whether it is significantly less. So, in a set distribution, this is not minus 1.96. It's not minus 1.96 because this is for two tail case. Ideally, 1.96 is somewhere here. But 5% is somewhere towards mid side of the 1.96 because we are interested in 5%. So this is 5%. Actually, this is only 2.5%. So what is the cutoff value in Z table? The cutoff value here is 1.64, which is minus. Now we have to calculate the Z value 4.5 if it is higher in minus side or if it is somewhere here in the null distribution we can reject the null hypothesis so let's see what to do the first step is we need to calculate the standard error so how do you how do we calculate standard error standard error equals pq divided by n total square root assume that our sample size is 100 now p is the population fixed value the population fixed value is 0.64 this is again something i discussed with means if we know the population proportion we can use that one if we don't know that one we can go with satisfactory large proportion size so q is 1 minus p which is 1 minus 0.64 divided by 100 the total square root so let's do that one this is equal 0 0.8 into 0 0.6 divided by 10 so you can calculate by your own this equal 0 0.48 divided by 10 that means 0 0.048 for the easiness for the for this calculation we will consider approximately this as 0 0.05 because this is more, more towards uh, 0 0.05 so in the null distribution we know that 0 0.64 is here so plus 1 sd that is plus 0 0.05 so 0 0.69 should be here and 2 sd it's 0 0.74 towards minus side 0 0.59 and 0 0.54 now we know that generally it's very easy as this is this one 0.5 is should be somewhere here even two tail case this should be significant but anyway we are not going to test the null hypothesis with this thing we are interested in z value so let's calculate the z value 
So the z equals 0.55 minus 0.64 divided by the standard error which is 0 0.05 which equals minus 0.16 divided by 0 0.05 which equals 3.2. So now we have to plot this 3.2 in the standard normal distribution. So standard normal distribution here at the center it is 0. The corresponding value for the 0 is 0.64. Now we should know what is this cutoff value which is which consists of 5% rejection region. The cutoff value here is minus 1.64. Now we know that actually this should be minus 3.2 right so minus 3.2 is high higher than minus 1.64 actually we if we forget this minus value so otherwise this is higher but here we are interested in, in minus side whether it is high or low so it is 3.2 is high so you have to forget this value because both are minus values because of that we can't retain our null hypothesis, so null hypothesis should be rejected. We can accept the hypothesis that our interested population, the proportion of healthy people is significantly higher than the standard population or the proportion of diseased people are significantly less in comparison to the standard population. I hope you are clear about application of one sample lizard test. So what about T? I have been discussing this thing so long time for all the previous lectures. So keep in mind in the null distribution, in Z distribution, cutoff value is 1.64 in Z distribution. But we know that T is something like this. So this should be slightly higher than the Z distribution. So now it should be if you go to the T table and if you see, so it, it is somewhere around 1.65 or something. There is no much significant difference because our degree of freedom here for the t-test is 99 because our sample size is 100. I hope you are clear about one sample proportion test. In the next lecture, we will be discussing about two sample t-test and z-test for two sample. Thank you very much.